Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods for episode 11. Today we're going to go and do some more work with those turtles and we're also going to set up a GPS system for the turtles and a way to see what's going on. So let's get started. So here we are ready. I've got the stuff and most of what I need anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some monitors, advanced monitors, because they basically allow colour and a few other bits and pieces. We're also going to need some end of I would like to make some of these. I'd like to make three more of these and one more of the wireless terminals. So if I look for the recipe for this, it's again, it's gold. I hope I've got enough gold. That's 24. Uh, no, I haven't quite got enough. I'll have to make two. So in here, I should have some, in here, I should have some ender pearls. I'm going to make three. Well, I'm, I'm going to make three. I think they'll be okay for what we need. And... I also wanted some blaze powders too. Yes, that's good, that'll do. And then we need nothing from that, stone. So let's have a look at the recipe for that again. I'm a bit low on gold, it's strange. I need to make these, don't I? Should be able to make two of those and then we can do the recipe for that. We'll make three of these. I'm gonna put these on the turtles. I need another wireless terminal as well, which we haven't got enough stone for. It doesn't matter what type of stone, I think I can use marble. In fact, what I have done is I've basically created some drawers in here. Um, let's just take some out of here. Take eight pieces out, like that. And we should be able to make the one of these. Like this. Oops, nearly right. Try again. Yeah, we get the wireless terminal. So we've got four wireless terminals. Those are for the GPS systems, and these are for the um, turtles. I hope I've got enough. If not, it doesn't matter. We'll come back and make another one. When we've, when we've got some gold, that is. So let's go downstairs, and I'll see you at where the turtles are. So here we are. Here I've got two computers. These are going to be part of the GPS system. So let's attach onto those the, two of those um, wireless modems. I think I'm short of one. Never mind. It'll be enough for what we need to do. And on here... We need to specify the GPS coordinates. So here, for example, if you look on the minimap, we are at one minus one one six eleven two forty. So the one we need to be is two forty one. So one one six minus one one six eleven two forty one. So what you do is you want to run a GPS program. So the easiest way to do this is to edit startup. Try again. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to do an OS dot run and what we're going to do is we're going to say GPS um, I'm just trying to remember the syntax I might have forgotten it doesn't matter much if I have and then we're going to say um, host I think and then we specify the coordinates so it was minus 116 11 and then it's um, 241, I think, 241, like that. I think that's what we have to specify. Let's just control that and save it. Press the control button, save it. Control and exit. Now we can test it, we just type startup. In fact, what we can do is actually type in the camera we're gonna, so we can say GPS, host, and then the coordinates. So it was minus 116, 116, that's right. Try again, that's 166. I think I've got it written down just a second. Let me double check it. Minus 166, that's it, yes. Uh, 11 and then 241. So it's that's got the position here and it says opening channel on left, on the modem on the left. So we should have this lit up here. This one isn't, if you see what I mean. And I better edit this startup program again. Now, to break program you have to do control T but unfortunately control T is also linked into the narrator really irritating <laughs> let's try this one again so we need to do os dot run so there's um, GPS host space host minus one six six this one's 13 high and its position is 241. Like that. And that's all we have to do. Control and 
save that and control and exit this one like this and we can actually type startup in here presenter oops got a missing set it this line again um not sure what i've got wrong there maybe i have to specify spaces around this or maybe it's shell run i also forgotten whether it's the right command because that's all you should need to do unless i need to put it into quotes Tell you what, I'll come back in a second and double check what I've done. Right, <laughs> my mistake is it has to be in quotes and it's a shell run, not an OS run. That's a different pro process that takes a table, which is not really part of what I want to discuss today. So I think this still works. So let's just exit this here and save it and then exit it. And then we just type startup and you'll see it opens the modem on the right and tells where it is. So this one I've also I think we have to yeah this one's correct and i think i fixed this as well so let's go and um go down and put another modem down somewhere else i think i'm going to put it down here it doesn't really have to be anywhere special it doesn't as long as they're on the same level except for one one has to be above the others here's another computer gps4 as i called it uh, i set a label on it and we'll put it on this it doesn't really matter where we put the, the wireless modem by the way just checking because I heard a zombie coming along here. Shift right click it onto there, and then we can type in edit startup. So we need a shell dot run, and then we need to open up. Oh, I didn't check the positions, but we'll just do GPS host, and then I'll put in the positions in a second. Um, let's press escape, and let's just have a look where we are. So this is minus one four one eleven is always going to be the case, and it's going to be minus one four one two forty eight. So forty one eleven two forty eight. Once it's set up, it's fine. I think that's you just have to put it in quotes like this, and it'll be fine. Oops, try again. Uh, control and save it. And then start up so it's opening as you saw this one lit up and it gives you the position of where it is here like this so we need four of these things for it to work properly so we've got two here and one above each other and the last one i put down at the bottom of here like this now there is a range of these modems and the range is 384 blocks i think I come the right way. I don't see any, I don't see any computers here. <laughs> um, what did I just do? I'm sure I've got another computer about somewhere. We'll, we'll find it. This is not the one I wanted. Oh. My mistake is the wrong channel is down here at the end of this one. So it's going to be minus 167, 11 and two, 324. So we can put this. Oh, that's a, that's a total note. This this one I wanted to draw. I can put it on the top of this one. So this is going to be minus 169, 11 and 322, three th yeah, 20 th yeah, 23. So, um, so again, You need four of these it doesn't otherwise it doesn't work otherwise so we need to have gps as a standard program by the way host so so this time actually i can see it on the mini map so it's pretty good so minus 168 11 323 and oh, it's actually 169 isn't it 323 let's just correct that Put the double quotes in here of course and save that and 
Windows startup. So it says it's found the modem on the top and it's giving you the positions. So fruit now we can come along here and we can actually test this out. And the command you use to test to see where you are is GPS locate. Without for it will just give you a distance, I think. So let's take this modem here. Like, um, how many have I got? Oh, I've got three. Three. I need to put one on another computer. So we'll put it on the computer here. Um, as you can see, I've already tested some stuff out here. So we'll use this one here like this. Shift click it onto the top, and then come along in here. And actually, I want to make extend this a bit further so we can break away four more of these. I'll leave the rock candy. Don't care about that. And we'll put in these monitors here. The, the, four by themselves isn't quite big enough. We should get two lines of a yeah, nice big monitor with enough for two. Well, actually, quite a few lines it gets in there. Could have put them in one row, but when I'm standing in here watching things, I can see what's going on. That's that's all that is. <laughs> so let's try this one. So let's start with this one here, for instance. And you can't shift right click them on the, the modem onto here. So what we can do is we can put it into say slot four, and then we can say equip. And it's, then it's a slot number, and we want it on the left hand side, like that. And then it's gone onto the left hand side. We'll do the same for this one here as well. That's why I need another one for the other. And I've got shortage of two um, pieces of gold, which hopefully I don't need gold for anything else. So let's put this into here now, and let's type it in. Slot four, oops, left, like that. Now you can type in GP. PS locate and press enter so it tells us our position is here so we should be at minus it's, it's in floating point here so minus 167 11 258 let's see if we've got this right so minus 168 yeah 11 and 258 spot on so we, it knows exactly where it is and you can do the same one on this one it should be almost the same position at minus 168 11 and 253 yes there you go minus 167 11 to 6 that's 11 point eight so it'll be might have got something wrong there, but it doesn't matter very much. We, we, we're, we're about where we want to be. So now let's just start this off here. And this one has a program in it. So it's got no modem. I have to run startup again because I've put the modem onto it. So it says, Rednet's opened on the on the top side. Now it's listening to channel um, to messages on the MON protocol. Uh, I probably won't go into this at the moment. And it says it's got one monitor on is one monitors so you can have multiple of these monitors and it'll send messages to each one so let's start with this one here so we're going to do safe branch again we're going to do a side we're only going to go along 10 so we can see what's going on and then we'll say we want to move to the left to the left three now i'm going to say zero in this case because i changed the program so it would accept zero so it doesn't move, it just comes back to this position here. So we can carry on, do actually finish off doing the 80. You'll see it takes a few seconds now, and it should start to mine and do its little business. I'll do the same one over here, like this. Side, it does not, no auto type on this one, is there? Uh, 10, left, 0. Uh -huh. And this will also think about it. But what we should be seeing over here are messages. So you see that this one here says two. So that means total two is mining on the side 10 blocks and it's going left 10. And then it started at position zero. Because if I've got it down here and I did say 80, it would go all the way to the end and start mining 80. So if anything happens interesting here, find anything interesting while we're doing this, to be reported on here so for instance if it finds any diamonds if they find any diamonds or they run out of fuel or whatever it will tell us what's going on so let's have a look now i shall wait a little bit in here and come back when something interesting happens so these two have just finished without actually doing anything or finding anything but they'll have dug um, a small 
mine down here at 10 blocks. So let's carry on with this one. We'll say the same thing again. This time we'll go 20 blocks down the line. Or maybe 30 blocks. Let's do 30 blocks. So it's going to start and it's going to carry on there. And we'll do the same thing with this one here. Maybe with 30 blocks we'll f chance of finding something more interesting. So this time it should say it started at position 10. So this is the... And this one should also start it at starting position 10. So it's moved along a little bit. So I'm going to stand in here and wait for this to do something. And I'll see you in a short while. Well, very uneventful. They've actually finished, both have finished without finding anything special. They did come and drop some stuff off in here, though. Uh, but this is also interesting. I must have hit something unusual. Because I, I've got a skeleton head. I've got some an anvil. I've got some cracked stones. I've actually got a book. And I've also got some gold ingots. Actually, I need those gold ingots, don't I? So let's take those out of there. Uh, and the lamp and the door, of course, because I... Uh, had a little hideaway in there. I was looking for something or other. And the rest of the stuff has got some lead ore, some platinum ore, gold ore, uh, more lead ore, and some bauxite ore. Let's just sort that out and then we can actually not as well take the book away. Is there anything in the, uh, as a lead? And now I guess the lead came from somewhere else. So we'll remove all of these items because they're non standard items out of here and we'll take this back upstairs. Now, obvious, obviously, I say it's not obvious. But one of the problems you've got with these things here is that if you go away from here, you're going to lose all the information. This program will stop. So what I'm going to do is I'll demonstrate that. I think I might have already demonstrated in the past. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to come along here. Let me double check this. I think it's minus 168, 11 to 41. I think that's the right position. One of them might be slightly wrong, or I might have got it too near the others. Um, I'm not sure which one of these it is, 49, 43. Ah, 249 is the problem on this one. So let's... And it says do GPS requests have been served, because that's what we typed in. So I'm, this time I'm going to press Control t and hold it down to break this. Um, I think it is... Yeah, this one's all... Completely wrong, actually. <laughs> it should be 142, I think, is it not? Yes, 142, and it should be 249. So let's just do this control. That's probably why the positions were coming out slightly wrong. So hold on. Narrator, narrates chap. Then you have to put up with this narrator until you turn it off again. So let's just edit the startup again. So it was 242. That's it. I thought I'd got one wrong, to be honest with you. You probably spotted that when I was doing 249. And that should be all we need to do. Let's just save that. It doesn't really matter that much. But I'm not running the program now, because we've put it into startup. So let's go down here now and demonstrate this. So what you can do to demonstrate it is to reset it without going too far away. So you can come along and you can go to the options and the video options. At the video settings at the moment i've got to set 20 chunks let's just change that down to two and you'll see that here you can't see the tunnel it's a bit it's a little bit disturbing in a way <laughs> let's just trundle down here so we can't see this area anymore maybe a little bit further okay now let's now let's set the render distance come along here and set the, then set the render distance up and those programs will restart from scratch that's why they're in the startup. So you can look at, oh, I've got a mistake on this one. Yes, okay, let's edit. You'll see it's already done it. And not say branch startup. Yes, this was wrong. This should have double quotes around it because I didn't do that one. The one I didn't do. I think, and oh, that's 166 as well. Yes. So that's that one. Control that one. Save it. Exit and then run startup. <laughs> it wasn't OS run, was it? It's shell run. Ah, uh, so it is X, Y, and Z. GPS locate. So I must have. What have I done wrong with that one? Let's have a look. 
GPS host. Oh, commas. It doesn't want commas. That way, that. This time it works. You see, it's displaying commas in here. So maybe that's what my confusion was. This one also says it's worked. Um, this one should have also worked. Has monitor, and it's the monitor has been cleared, and should say it's also got has monitor monitors one. Yes, that's right. Um, and these ones here will have actually lost their programs. So what we're now going to do is set this back again because we need this to be at least as far as we can go. So twenty is a pretty decent. It's pretty decent. That's three hundred and twenty blocks or thereabouts. Video settings at the run distance up to 20. 32 makes the application run slow. So that's actually bad. There we go. So now the other GPS systems that we're running down, that one was okay. Right down the bottom will also be okay. So let's set this one now going to 80. So let's say branch um, side um, 80 left and three. So it's going to move along three positions. And we'll do the same with this one over here. In fact, let's do the GPS locate while I've done this because I fixed that. You see, this is now no, there's no decimal points in here, which means it's correct before it wasn't correct. So that's how you can tell that you got to one of the positions wrong as well. That's useful. Of course, the ender wireless modems don't have a range different. They're not limited by range. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, safe branch side 80 left 3. And let it do its stuff. Now, hopefully, one of these is going to run out of um, fuel, and we'll see it in here. You'll see they're both started. They're going to do left, and this time three. So this one will also say minor two started at 30, because they're both 30 along those tunnels. Okay, I shall be back when I shall actually stand in here, close the door just in case I can just see it. Uh, something happens. See you in a while. Right, I've made, made another one of these. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to start this again. I hadn't had anything really interesting in that particular one. We'll let this one go through. Oh, I'm also going to do this one here. Uh, again, I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to do it last because it's almost empty out of fuel. So we might see an interesting message in this one. So let these three go. This is about not got very many to go. So let's go over here and see if it actually does generate a message. So you'll see that they're all starting now. Uh, even even four minor fours now got them, and they're all starting at zero. Um, so what I'm hoping to see is it runs out of minor two. I think it is runs out of fuel in about twenty blocks. So maybe we can see that happening. There's no diamonds discovered, so that's a bit dull. But we did get some more gold. That's why I went back up to get some more. And I'm just wondering whether the ender modems, the wireless modems, keep Oh, that was a strange noise. Keep um, things open. There we go. I'm out of fuel. Please load fuel in. So, oh, okay. In slot 16. Oh, I've got a table in here. <laughs> ha. Uh, at 170. Ah, okay. I've got a location in here. Now, what the location was supposed to do is to say where it was. The table is actually the normal print table. So that was something I was testing. I haven't taken it out yet. So one of these is run out of fuel at minus 170 something or other. This is probably this 170. Indeed, this is this one. Minus 170. So I have to figure out how to do the location properly. So all we have to do now is put some fuel into this and it press enter and let it carry on. And off it goes. So, actually, that's the first time I've done this because I wanted to do a lot of this on camera and I didn't test this bit. But you see, it says out of fuel, so you know that you've got to go and attend, do something with minor too. I'll wait a little bit longer now and see if anything else interesting happens. Uh, I'll see you in a, few short, in a short while.
Well, I'm back. And you can see it. A more sensible message. I fixed it. Uh, so it's telling me where it is. So 182, 11, 263 minus 182. So it'll be 263. It'll be here, look. And you'll see there's this one. And just, you can't see it from the time being. Let's just go back here. There we can see some diamond ore. So let's get this mined up. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is be careful this time. I'm going to see if I can get this range right. So what I want to do is move just a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Move a little bit so I just can just access it, and then we'll then we'll all excavate this out like that, and then we'll get the fishing rod into our hot off hand here with the magnet on it, and go and pick up those diamonds and the XP, of course. So now what does it have? Diamond wise, nine. Great stuff. So then we can simply hit enter on it, and it'll carry on mining away. Fantastic. So that is basically it and of course it'll carry on down here so and you see this one i haven't fixed that program but this one's okay and in here you'll see i've also removed that message that says at the table because that was just for testing purposes so of course i'll let you have all of these up programs i'm just curious about one thing though somebody's coming back to drop off his load if i go out of range now and come back again We'll see what happens. I'm going back to the upstairs and we'll see what happens if those, if the ender modems keep things alive. I'll see you in a second. Right, just coming back. And sure enough, this one is still running. Fantastic. So they can, with the ender modems or the ender wireless modems, carry on working without a problem. I'm really pleased about that because I didn't know about that. So the normal ones stop. And you see that's the last message, Diamond Door. Right, that's it for this episode. But you'll notice here I've actually just, I've still got my armour on, but I changed it here. So you can basically leave the head armour on, but not shown, which is, I think, quite nice. Um, oh, I just found some more Diamond Door. Look at that. Which one? Two. So, anyway, next time, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. I'll think about it between episodes. But until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.